Hi guys, today we're going to look at M550 dashcam from S-Dome. It's a three-channel dashcam. First I'll show you what comes inside the box. Uh, here we have the front dashcam. It has 3.19 inch LCD screen in the back. Uh, also here we have the interior camera. The angle of the interior camera can be adjusted like this. Uh, besides that we have uh, the car charger and as you can see it has extra USB port on top which is very convenient uh, this way you can charge your extra devices in the vehicle uh, here we have the rear camera and uh, the cable is 6 meters or 20 feet set comes with 64 gigabyte uh, SD card also we have uh, tape for the rear camera mount here and two screws and we have extra uh, tape for the front camera also we have cable clips I believe there are five of them and a small plastic tool to help you install the wiring set comes with the manual it's pretty detailed gives you all the necessary information and also we have two pieces of film which uh, gets installed uh, between the dashcam and uh, the windshield this way you install the dashcam on top of this film like this this will allow you to remove uh, the film in case if you want to replace the dashcam or take it off and there won't be any residue left on the windshield but normally I don't use this much the front dashcam feels and looks like a high quality product uh, it uses Sony IMX 307 image sensor and is capable of recording video up to 4K it has Wi-Fi support, it has GPS uh, speaking of GPS GPS is actually installed in this mount right here and this mount is uh, removable which is another cool feature and it uses super magnets to hold it in place so it gets connected like this this will allow you to easily remove the dashcam from the windshield when you leave the vehicle Uh, the power port is located right here on the mount here we have the port for the SD card uh, this is a port for the rear camera uh, we have five mechanical buttons on the bottom also we have the microphone here and the reset button uh, device comes with the speakers and on this side we have the port show you for the interior camera which is pretty cool as well uh, this allows you to connect it like this and uh, again you can remove it if you don't want to record the interior video you can easily remove the interior camera and simply use the front dash cam uh, the interior camera comes with infrared LEDs which will allow you to record uh, clear video at night speaking of uh, the interior camera I want to point out a few things about the resolution as I said this camera is capable of recording in 4k resolution uh, uh, this uh, works if you use either only the front camera this will allow you to record in 4k and uh, 2k as well if you use uh, the front and rear camera you still can use the 4k resolution for the front camera and uh, full HD for the rear but if you use front uh, and interior camera you can only record uh, the front camera will only record in 2k and uh, full HD for the interior and uh, if you use all three cameras again you can't use 4k for the front camera it only will record in 2k resolution for the front and full HD for the rest
while I'm here I'll show you guys the rest of the specs uh, aperture is uh, 1.8 um, the codec that it uses is H264 the G sensor is built in it has loop recording support motion detection Wi-Fi support parking mode uh, parking mode will only work if you use a hard wiring kit which I don't have right now the maximum uh, SD card that you can use is 512 gigabytes uh, microphone speaker uh, battery it has built-in super capacitor and can work in temperatures ranging from minus 20 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius so far I really like this product uh, as I said I think it's a great idea to have this uh, removable interior camera if you don't want to record yourself you simply detach it and use uh, the dashcam as a, the front dashcam I like the idea that it has this LCD screen in the back uh, it can be helpful and uh, the fact that it has this detachable mount uh, helps a lot as well because if you live in an area where vehicles get broken into this will help to secure your vehicle uh, right now we'll go and install the whole set in the vehicle we'll also install the SDOM app uh, in our phone I'll show you how that works uh, we'll go through the settings and then I'll show you how it records the video this is where we installed the front and interior cameras on the windshield show you guys how it looks like from the front the rear camera is meant to be installed uh, near the license plate or on the bumper instead we installed it right here and because originally it was meant to be installed near the license plate the bracket that it comes with is actually not tall enough uh, that's why we had to use a piece of uh, wood to uh, make sure that the rear camera gets proper view in the back uh, this is something you have to be aware of uh, when you uh, do the installation let's start the vehicle and our camera is on Please format SD card. Uh, right away it asks us to format the SD card so I'll do that, I'll press the down button and the press OK uh, the card is now fully formatted as I said before, if you're leaving the vehicle you can simply disconnect the, in this case it's rear camera cable and uh, remove the dash cam completely and take it with you I'll put it back on as you can see it's very simple don't forget to connect the rear ca camera if you guys want to disconnect the interior camera you can simply pull it off you don't need to turn off the dash cam it will actually reboot itself And as you can see now, we, ha we have only a rear camera screen on the main display. Uh, same idea if you want to reconnect the camera. Simply put it in and uh, the dash cam will reboot again. And now we have uh, two cameras connected to the main one. Right now I'll show you what these buttons do. First of all we have the power button. If you press it once this will turn off the main display. If you press and hold this button this will turn off the camera itself. Uh, the up uh, arrow button will turn on and off the microphone. And if you press and hold this will lock the current file. OK button turns on and off the video recording uh, the down arrow will actually cycle through different uh, display modes so in this case we see the interior camera rear camera uh, all three and the front camera we'll leave it at all three uh, if you want to go to the menu which is this button first you have to turn off the video recording 
and press this button once here you'll see all the settings you can go through them by pressing the up and down arrows but I'll show you the settings when we uh, install the application press once to go back if you press and hold the uh, menu button this will actually take you to a different mode right now it's a photo mode which I personally don't use much at all uh, but it's still here if you need it press and hold again and this will take you to the playback mode uh, this is where you can uh, view all recorded videos for example right now it shows normal videos press ok and uh, this will show you all the recorded videos so I'll go back uh, back again press and hold and I will turn on the video recording again here you have the SDOM app, you can get it from the Play Store or App Store. Uh, right now we have to turn on the Wi-Fi on the device itself, so you have to press and hold this uh, down uh, arrow button, press and hold. And you will see this SSID, I believe it says M550, and the password is 1234567. Uh, now you can look for the right here M550 network in the Wi Fi options. Uh, right now it's connected because I've done this connection before, but when you do it the first time, you'll have to enter that password. Now you can go back to the app and uh, here just press on M550 and as you can see it also shows us the preview of what the camera sees. You can press this button here and it will give you the full screen view of what camera shows. This will be helpful when you uh, install the, both the front and the rear dash cams. I'll go back. Um, here we can go to the device album, but first we have to stop recording. Go to device uh, albums. Photo, we don't have any photos. For videos, as you can see, it gives us all our uh, recorded videos so far. I'll go back. You can turn on and off the audio recording, you can switch modes. Uh, right now it's in photo mode. And back to the video mode. You can switch cameras from here, well for some reason it says rear camera 1 here, in, in fact it is interior camera right now. And uh, this is the actual rear camera. And I'll go back to front camera now. And all three at once. Uh, you can change the resolution from here. And as you can see, like I said, because we have all three cameras connected right now, the resolution of the front camera is uh, 2K, 2560 by 1440, and full HD for the rest. We'll leave it at that. Um, I'll go to settings this is a button that you have to press up here uh, general settings picture size this is I believe for the photo mode uh, loop recording we have three options one three and five minutes uh, I'll switch it to one WDR I will turn it on you can change the exposure Motion detection, audio recording, date stamp, G sensor, medium, um, automatic video. I'm not exactly sure what this is. I'll leave it like that. Languages, these are all the options that the camera has. Uh, video playback mode or lens, yes, it's good. You can set date and time. You can also format SD card from here. Uh, you can change Wi-Fi settings if you want. 
it shows you the available space on the SD card right now 54 gigabytes almost 55 and you can set the default settings if you want right now we'll go for a short drive and I'll show you how this camera records the video first I'll uh, show all three cameras uh, this will be the 2k resolution for the front camera and then I will remove the interior camera and show you how uh, the front camera records in the 4k as well Right now I'm going to disconnect the interior camera and as you can see the resolution changes to Ultra HD which is 4K 